guys welcome to my channel my name is christiana and you are watching christiana flourishing thank you to all my subscribers and friends i just want to say i appreciate you how wonderful you are amazing may god wait for you thank you for keep coming back watching my video and subscribing thank you so much and if you're watching me you have not subscribed please click on the red button then say subscribe and put the bell on top that whenever we upload the video you'll be notified so this video you're about to watch please i will encourage you to watch it to the end and take your time to leave your comment at the comment section and share the video out thank you so much enjoy then he says every time the angel comes in comes there the first person to step into the water when the water is stirred by the angel nobody goes close to the water nobody goes to the pool because they don't want anyone to confuse anybody so nobody goes there but once the angel comes there he will stir the water and people knew that now the water is being stirred by an angel because you don't see the angel but you just see the water being stirred then the first person to do what to jump in there will be healed instantly god made that for a reason so that he can always have a way. It was his grace and his mercy for all the children of Israel until Christ will come. Until Christ will come. So this particular verse of the Bible is very significant. Then this man's life, this man's life was significant for one reason. The reason why this man was crippled for 38 years was not because he, he was supposed to be born crippled. No. The 38 years was to signify all the time that the children of Israel spend in the wilderness. This man is the representation of those time that they spent in the wilderness. Now you say, Pastor Godwin, the children of Israel spent 40 years in the wilderness. Why are you saying 38 years? They spent 40 years in the wilderness. But the journey of the wilderness to the promised land was 38 years. Deuteronomy chapter 2. We'll come back here, okay? So, hallelujah. He said, then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. As the Lord speak unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir many days. Do you see that? So they were turning around the mountains for many days. And the Lord spoke unto me saying, I've compassed this mountain long enough. Turn not what? And God is saying to someone, you've been in that situation long enough. Now is the time to turn around and walk away from there. Amen. You don't need anything extraordinary to walk you away from there. You don't need anything extraordinary to bring you away from there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If your family suffered the same situation and you find yourself in the same situation and somebody had told you that your family need to do something to get yourself out of that thing, I'm telling you in the name of Jesus, walk out. Amen. Walk out. Amen. Walk out. Amen. You are not your family. Amen. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Amen. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Glory to God. Amen. So your family might have suffered it. Your uncle, your aunties, your brothers, your sisters, but you are different. Amen. Because you are hearing the sound of my voice. And the word of God is coming to you. Amen. So the, And command out the people saying, Ye saying, ye are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Glory to God. Amen. They will be afraid of you. Amen. They will be afraid of you. Amen. Take ye good heed. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord. Take ye good heed unto yourself, therefore. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Meddle not with them. Meddle not with them. They are not in your level. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Meddle not with them. They are not in your level. Amen. Hallelujah. The there is nobody that is more than you. Brothers and sisters. I'm not saying something to psych you up. I'm telling you what you are. Yes. I'm telling you what God has made you to be. That's Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can't worship anybody or think anybody is better than you. No. Anyone who is coming to your life. They are coming because God attracted them to your light. You have a light that is shining. And God has attracted them to that light. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. 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 If they are not there, your light. 
light will still shine. Mm -hmm. If they are not there, your light will still burn. Mm -hmm. If they are not there, somebody will replace them with God will replace them with somebody else. Yes. But somebody has to come. Yes. Because your light attracts someone. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. So he says, do not meddle with them. For I will not give you of their land. No, not so much as a food breath. Because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. Next verse. You shall, you shall buy meat. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. You shall buy meat of them for money. Hallelujah. Hello. You shall buy meat for them for money. Glory to God. Yeah. You will never be broke in your life. Yeah. You will never be broke in your life. Yeah. Every time you require money, money will come to you. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You will never be broke. Yeah. God says you shall buy meat from them. Amen. It's a necessity. You shall buy meat from them that ye may eat, and ye shall be, and ye shall also buy water of them for money that ye may drink. Next verse. For the Lord your God has blessed thee. For the Lord your God has blessed thee. In all thy works, he has blessed thee. In all the works of your hands, he has blessed you. Brothers and sisters, the reason why that company is progressing is because of you. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why anywhere you are, the reason why they are making progress is because of you. Because God does not want to leave you broke. Hallelujah. And guess what? This is a good news. None of God's child can be broke. None of God's child can be without money. Hallelujah. So I said, Pastor Gordy, but the other time I, I didn't have money. No, it's because you didn't know what I'm showing you now. Amen. Amen. When you wake up in the morning, hallelujah, look sharp, look sharp, look sharp. You are blessed. Glory to God. You are blessed. Glory to God. Amen. Someone wants to hire you. You put in your application. They call you for interview. They say, um, I, we, you know, I, I can help you. I want to hire you. Just be laughing. Just be laughing. Because you don't want to get them angry or piss them off. Just be laughing. But in your mind, say, mm -mm, I am the one who wants to help you. Because the minute that I step in here, the minute I sign my contract, God begins to bless this company. It's because of me. It's because I am here. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. See what God says. He says, for the Lord thy God has blessed thee in all the works of thy hands. Yeah. You know it, thy walking through this great wilderness, these 40 years. The Lord, the Lord thy God had been with thee. And, and, and listen, listen. He said, thou had lacked nothing. Yeah. Thou had lacked nothing. Amen. Amen. I refuse to lack. Amen. I refuse to want. I refuse to lack and want are far away from me. In the name of Jesus. He said, I, 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 I need a child. No, you cannot lack a child. I need a man. No, you cannot lack a man. I need a woman. No, you cannot lack a woman. Because you are blessed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, and when, and when we pass from uh, when we pass from our brethren, the children of Esau, we dwelt in Seir through the ways of the plain, from 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 Elat and from Ezong Ezongaba. We turned and passed and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now move to verse 14 so that we don't take too much time. So just move to verse 14. And this space, and the space in which we came. Listen, listen carefully. He says, and the space in which we came from Kidash Bena unto where we come over to the brook of Zira was 30 and 8 years until the generation of the men of war were wasted out from among the hosts as the Lord swore unto them. So it was 38 years. God stole their journey for 38 years. Why? Because all the men who did not believe what God said. When God said they would go and possess the land of Jericho, some men stood up and said, mm, the, the, the walls of Jericho alone, we cannot even climb it. Not to talk more, let's possess it. Then he says, and the way to Jericho and around Jericho, there are giants there. We are like ants to the giants. Then they came back and said, God, if you want to kill us, kill us here because we are not going there. We are not going there to die there or let those giants kill us or those people kill us. God said, 
but I promised you the place. The people say, we don't want it. Hmm. God said, I promise you the place. They say, we don't want it. God said, why? He said, because of the situation of the place and how big the men are, we are unable, unable to overcome them. But brothers and sisters, when God wants to give you something, he doesn't put it in front of you. He prepares it. He prepares it. And let you hear the smell. Then he tells you, the food is done. Go eat. Glory to God. God does not bring all the ingredients and tell you, prepare it. No. He tells you, see, the food is ready. Eat. Hallelujah. So he says, until all these men, they died. God made sure that all those men, they died. Why? Because he is God. He can raise up any army today, tomorrow, next tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He can change any government. Mm -hmm. He is God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So do you see that now? 38 years.